Hey guys, do the bananas here. To the video if you like it and save video right now. Yeah, we supporting the King of Fighters 14. Got that new wallpaper that hit. Definitely gotta put that up on this background. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're gonna be talking about the move set and the actual gameplay of King of Fighters 14. And in this video, we're just gonna go through different players, characters that have been announced and stuff like that. They have actually had um, skill sheets um, that came out from the PlayStation Experience, and I wanted to go over this stuff with you guys and show you a little gameplay. And I apologize if the gameplay is gonna be muted because it's really loud and you it actually overshadows my voice when I played it because I had already previously recorded something like this, and it didn't go away. Go, it didn't go according to plan. So, first off, let's go ahead and get on into. Excuse me, once again, get on into this. This is Kyo Kasanagi's moveset right here. And I'm going to let you go ahead and explain something to you guys right now. Um, these characters, the, I'll, I'll explain you to, to you what they are and the... Um, shit. What they are in the um, the fighting game world. What these characters will be regarded as. Kyo Kusanagi. Kyo Kusanagi is regarded as a rushdown character. Very, very fast movement, um, lots of moves, um, a lot of moves that combo into each other. Same thing with Ayuri, Yagami. Yeah, I said at the right time, Ayuri, Yagami. Even though I like it, the name Lori for him, Ayuri, I'll say it, whatever. He is also a rushdown. Chang, though, Chang is a heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. He is what you would call a muscle-based character. Kind of like, um, kind of like Zangief. Andy is a tactical character. He will be more of a, you know, you know, you play with him defensively, and then you go in for the takedown whenever you see an opening. Same thing with Kula as well. Kula is also a tactical character, and the same thing with Leona. All four of those characters, or three of those characters, are, are tactical characters. And this right here is at the actual controls. So for those who wanted to see what if they were going to change anything, no, they really haven't changed anything. Max mode is still as amazing as it is. And so, oh, they no, they did add something. Now, if you max mode activation, you can use. Um, well, I know that's always been that's always been there. So you can use it as a cancel. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So other than that, they haven't changed anything. Let's go ahead and go on into this gameplay. I'm going to actually point out a few things that I've noticed as well. So I usually, uh, I need to get my default player to be Windows Media Player. But, dear lord, that's loud. But, um, as you can see, this dude is playing um, King of Fighters 14. And he is actually at the PlayStation Experience. Now, this gameplay came from the Event Hub. Same thing with these screenshots right here. These came from Event Hubs as well. We'll put a link in the description. But something that bothered me from the beginning was um, the fact that Ayuri didn't have red hair at first. And he still really doesn't have red hair here. It's orange. It's like an orange. -ish red. It's like a red orange. And actually, Keo doesn't look half bad. He don't. He don't look half bad here. I'm not even gonna lie. And from this angle, he don't look half bad. But they still need to fix his face. Um, Leona, you can tell they put in a lot of work to making this game look better. This is a presentable stage for this game. I would say definitely this is a present presentable stage for the game. But I still think that they have to um, they have a lot of work to do before they can consider this game ready to be put out to the public. Now. We're going to fast forward a little bit to the gameplay. This is just showing you the different stages you can pick. Never seen that stage. I think I have, but I don't remember it. But um, and this is the gameplay. Now, first, right off the bat, very, very, very smooth movement. She she moves like she did in um in all the previous games. She's not as fast as she she's not moving as fast as she does in 2002, but she's moving slightly slower than she does in her stance than she does in um. And King of Fighters 12 and 13. Andy Bogard hasn't really changed that much, except for they made his muscle definition, toned his muscle definition down a whole lot, and they kept cut off half of his hair. So right off the bat, we see some, you know, some nice little gameplay going on. Um, very, very, very smooth gameplay. It could be a little bit smoother, 
but overall this is a presentable stage once again this i would call this early i would call this late alpha early beta type footage right now they even said it in the trailer that this stuff is subject to change i don't think that any of the move sets or anything will change but i think that the the smoothness of the actual movements will actually change so that's that's what i think is probably going to change you know and he had activated his max mode which he goes into he is spamming the hell out of that elbow but um so yeah um that's just a little and here we are Lori. his hair looks re his red right there um but it looks it looks red here too but can i get a good steal oh he keeps knocking him down he's putting that work on Lori. It's still got that orange tint to it. It's not red like this. You know what I mean? It's got that orange tint to it. But I mean, I, well, I, I could say it's kind of there, but it, it's a nitpick, whatever. I don't care. But um, regardless, as you can see, the gameplay is actually really, really good right now. It's actually very, very smooth, very, very um, well put together. The animations are great. Can't complain there. Um, they actually fixed a lot of stuff from the showcase of Andy during the second trailer. So I'm happy that they fixed that as well. I like the UI. I like the UI a lot. It's simple, gets to the point. It's not too flashy, not too boring. Um, guard meter, as always, that you have to have a guard meter. Um, but yeah, overall, um, you can you can check out that gameplay on Event Hubs, and uh, I'll have a link to that in the description. But in my opinion, it actually plays like 2002 now i'm gonna just fast forward to some gameplay that i have you've already seen this but in my opinion it plays a lot like 2002 it's a lot in my opinion i wouldn't it's a lot more smoother than 2002 definitely um but overall it it has that same appeal but then again you gotta think about like this king of fighters has really never strayed too far from the source material never strayed too far from the base fighting mechanics so all they've done is just improve upon that, which is a great thing. And it always allows players, new and old, to have a newer and fresher feel, no matter if they're returning, casuals, or hardcore. So, but with that being said, guys, this is CWB. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have a live reaction to the Yakuza 0 trailer coming up right after this. So I hope you enjoyed that.